The city of Youngstown today announcing that it's looking for public input on whether to reopen a south side residential street to vehicular traffic. It's Detroit Avenue between Zedeker Street and Shady Run Road, near the house where all the Stoops boys grew up and later went on to big time football coaching positions. Now, some people in the neighborhood want the street opened again. Reporter Jacob Thompson has the story. It is new at 10. Traveling down Detroit Avenue, you'll notice the guardrail in the middle of the street, blocking it off between Zedeker Street and Shady Run Road. It was put up back in 2015, and neighbors want it taken down. A lot of people would take that route to go to work. Um, we now, if we want to go to Shady Run or to 680, we have to go around to Boston. Josie Lyon has been living at our house on Detroit for 22 years. She tells me when the street was open, they were able to keep an eye on Pemberton Park, which is where the guardrails are. As far as like, you know, where trees getting overgrown, where the sidewalks clean. With the guardrails up, she tells me police can't patrol the area as well, and teenagers would visit the park on ATVs or motorcycles. We found trash, drug paraphernalia, so which is really sad and unfortunate. Lyon is the president of the Detroit Pemberton Neighborhood Association. She asked the rest of the neighborhood residents their top three issues. Most of them said the guardrails were the biggest problem. A large majority of the neighbors um, around, just even around my home, um, all the way up have complained about it. There's people on Lucius. There's even people on Cambridge that have, have complained about it as well. Most of the traffic now either has to go down Midlothian Boulevard or Boston Avenue. Which there are a few residents on Boston that have um, not been happy with that because now they're inheriting all the traffic that would normally go down Detroit. I talked to a few neighbors on Boston Avenue that didn't want to go on camera. They are all for the guardrails being taken down and they describe all the traffic as a headache. The city of Youngstown is taking public comments on the issue. You have until September 15th at 4 p.m. to submit them. In Youngstown, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.